Hi, I'm Jim Goodman. I'd like to welcome you to 10 Wheel Adventures. Now this week, Belinda and I traveled from Quartzsite, Arizona into the Coachella Valley in California. Our first stop at the state line was the California Agricultural Station. A very nice young lady asked us if we were carrying any fruits or vegetables, and of course we said no. So on our way we went down Interstate 10. It wasn't far down I-10 that we found our exit at Box Canyon Road. Now the drive down this road was very surreal. Some of the angles that these rocks have been pushed up out of the earth are quite dramatic. So I took time to get out the drone and fly it around. And this is what we saw. And we were visiting in the beginning of March. The temperatures were so pleasant. Started down in the 70s for daytime highs, but by the end of the week we had actually reached 90 degrees. But still, the air was so dry that it wasn't uncomfortable at all. We did some hiking in this Box Canyon area and really enjoyed our time there. Some of the hikes were pretty intense as the trails were kind of narrow but we really enjoyed ourselves. It's such a barren landscape, but it isn't long till you look off in the distance and you see this lush green valley and a huge body of water. It's known as the Salton Sea. The Salton Sea is a shallow saline lake located directly on the San Andreas Fault. For thousands of years, the Colorado River has flowed into and out of the valley, alternately creating a freshwater lake, an increasingly saline lake, and a dry desert basin, depending on the river flows and the balance between inflow and evaporation. The most recent inflow of water was accidentally created in 1905 in an effort to increase water flow into the area for farming. A mistake was made and the resulting outflow from the river overwhelmed the engineered canal and the river flowed into the Salton Basin for two full years, filling the historic dry lake bed and creating the modern sea before repairs were completed. The lake's salinity is greater than that of the waters of the Pacific Ocean. The Salton Sea had some success as a resort area in the 1950s. However, many of the settlements substantially shrank in size or have been abandoned altogether, mostly due to the increasing salinity and pollution of the lake over the years from agricultural runoff and other sources. Many of the species of fish that lived in the sea have been killed off by a combination of pollutants, salt levels, and algae blooms. Dead fish have been known to wash up in mass quantities on the beaches, and in fact those white beaches are not sand at all but the pulverized bones of those dead fish. Due to the rich fertile soil, the Coachella Valley is home to a huge agricultural community. As we drove around, Blinn and I saw mile after mile of date palm orchards, citric groves, and acre upon acre of vegetables and produce being grown. The RV park where we stayed this week was located in the heart of this valley, near Thermal, California, just about a mile or so from the north end of the Salton Sea. It was located in a huge date palm grove, and we decided business must really be good because the park was full the entire time we was there, and in fact, they were even installing several new pads for RVs in the future. We really enjoyed our time here. Management was so responsive to our needs, it was amazing. Uh, we do call it an oasis because it's rich and green and lush, and there were citrus trees all over the property that were in full bloom, so the aroma was wonderful. I have a small pond that's stocked with fish, a huge fire pit with gatherings there every night. Uh, it has tennis courts, swimming pool, billiards, ping pong, horseshoes, and a hot tub set to 104 degrees, so we just loved it. So we definitely come back here again. 
Now I'm going to leave you with one more flight through the Box Canyon. It was so much fun. Until we see you again next week, safe travels. <laughs>